Growing up in a Korean home in New Jersey, Chef Judy Ju learned home cooking from the best, her mom. She would make kimchi from scratch. She would grow certain vegetables in the garden, um, everything from like the seaweed crisps to the Korean barbecue. I mean, absolutely everything that you can think of. As host of Korean Food Made Simple on Cooking Channel, Judy shares the recipe she grew up eating with her own twist. Kimchi is one of those things like spaghetti sauce. You can kind of put anything in it, and the more stuff in it, it's kind of the better, <laughs> I think. Kimchi, which is fermented cabbage or radish with lots of spices, is a staple in Korean cooking. Judy says it can be on the table for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Koreans don't really feel that they have eaten unless they have had kimchi. They have to eat it every day or else they feel like something's missing in their life. <laughs> there are 187 varieties and each family has their own recipe. Judy stopped by Hanjan in New York City to check out the executive chef's version. Everybody has their own technique, depending on your family, yeah, right. uh, so of how they like twist it or things yeah, like. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. In addition to the great taste, yeah. kimchi also has many health benefits. It has a thousand times the amount of the lactobacillic that yogurt has in kimchi, so it is that much more good for you. So if you can imagine, everyone's always saying eat yogurt because of the probiotic effects. Kimchi, you're getting a gazillion times of that. It's like on steroids. Judy says kimchi is very low in calories and helps to boost your metabolism and aid in weight loss. It also has anti-cancer properties as well. But there's a catch. It does reek, I won't lie. Like, if you have it, it is a very pungent ingredient. But, you know, so is goat cheese. So, so are a lot of other things that really, really, you know, stink up your fridge. Smell aside, the longer kimchi ferments, the greater the health benefit. You don't need to make it yourself. The side dish is becoming more popular and can be found in grocery stores and Western restaurants. It's a burger topping. It's on top of tacos. It's on top of French fries. I mean, it's the sauces are used in aiolis and mayonnaises and ketchup. It's, it's everywhere. I'm Dr. Manny, Fox News.